All right. For anybody who is just in my live, I got it loosened. I'm about to tighten up these two 14 mils and then try to tighten up the 17 mil at the top. Since I'm using that old busted bushing, I might as well just go ahead and let the damn thing rip apart. Tighten these up. Well, I don't see how some of these damn YouTubers can do this shit. I can't even hold a fucking ratchet and a damn phone at the same damn time and use it. What I'm gonna try to do though, is I'm gonna try to uh, do it a little bit different this time. I'm gonna tighten them up down here, and as I'm tightening up the top, I'm going to be sitting there with the jack, jacking it up. Not that I think it's going to fucking work, because I'm pretty sure that the subframe's bent. Here, I'll show you why I think the subframe's bent. As y'all can see, it's been in a front-end collision. And it was on the driver's side, so I didn't think nothing of it. Whenever I looked at the car, I looked down at the subframe. It all looked good. It just looked like this front support was bent. Now that I'm looking at it a little bit better. Because whenever I got the car, dude, it, it literally sat like an inch and a half, like an inch and a half up off the damn ground. Like the subframe itself was sitting stupid low. But as you can see right here, it's been bottomed out quite a few times. That one right there was actually a hard one. I mean, you can see that something has actually whacked the subframe right there. And... I hate working in the goddamn dirt. Right here in the subframe, I thought was originally, I originally thought it was just like a little dent. But now I'm noticing that it's actually like rippled from this front end impact. I don't think that it is right there. I think that that's just a dent. Although it is going over to the side of it, so it could affect it. This next part, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna pull it off. Try to jack this fucking thing up and operate this damn camera at the same time. Let's see. Anything down there? No. Maybe we can put y'all right there in the side skirt. Maybe. Alright, fuck it. Just a little bit until it starts pulling it apart. Y'all see that gap getting bigger and bigger? I check that gap. See, it's, there's still a big fucking gap up top. Nothing but trying to separate. As you can tell by the ratchet moving, it's just jacking the entire fucking car up instead of. And there, you know. What? I'm just gonna sacrifice this fucking boot so y'all can see what the hell it does. Come on, get that on there. Life is hell without my damn magnetic sockets. Now, if it's supposed to be pulled apart like this, then so be it. But 
Pretty fucking sure it's not. Y'all hear that? That sounded a little on the sketchy side. What the fuck was that? I wonder if y'all can see that gap. Fuck no. There's too much goddamn power steering for you to sit down here. I'm gonna try and get you on a little bit of damn light. Ah, fuck it, thing's just too much damn glare. Come quit fuck focusing on the damn fire. Maybe if we, yeah, that camera's dirty. Seven hundred dollar fucking phone. Ought to have that piece of shit out here using. Uh, uh, you can kind of sort of see. It. Let me click that autofocus. There you go, now y'all can see it separating like hell back there. I mean, yeah, I bought a used mount. I already know that. It's used, I, but I know that it wasn't like this whenever it was on the other fucking car. I looked at it, I literally went to like five different cars. And this one, right, this, the car that I got this one from actually still had the box in the fucking trunk that this damn thing came in. It's, in the, it's got the same box in the trunk that, was, that I've got sitting in the house. I mean, I, I personally, I don't think it should be like that. Because, I mean, that's a big fucking gap compared to what the hell it had. Finger on this side. Sideways finger on this fucking side. Yes, I know y'all are going to talk mad shit about my boot. I already know this. I got the whole new motherfucking rack sitting in the building. I've just been fighting with the other bullshit on this fucking car. Damn, boy, that axle was supposed to have that much in and out play. My damn CD5 shirts, hell don't. CD5's also got about 5K in the fucking front end. Hmm, y'all can see the setup though. Jacking it up right up underneath of the mount. It's still, it's not doing shit for me. So, on to my next question. If it is a fucked up subframe, do I have every damn thing I need in this piece of shit to throw this K series in that pretty old CD5 sitting down there? I don't know what the hell all I gotta do on these. I'm used to like, like my V8s, man, like my big girl back there. I don't know shit about this fucking fuel-injected fucking computered bullshit. 